and I'm back again guys to what another video and in today's video I'll be giving you guys freshman advice this advice can also be used for eighth graders any school level any grade level because it all kind of intertwines but some things are specifically for freshmen and what they really have to work on and make sure they keep in their mind so we want to get this video started without further ado What would the first day of school look like? So the first day of school is just the day where you get to know your school. You figure out where your classes is. You get that locked in. You figure out your teachers. You figure out if your friends from your old school or a different school came that you know. You just see people and you're just getting to know the whole environment. Um, and your classes, We'll be working on like you have these things where you have to tell your teacher about yourself, like get to know me. So we will have class engagement to get to know your classmates. So we're not really working like the whole first week of school, which I think that's in middle school, elementary school as well. Um, that day can be very stressful because you are walking around, maybe being late to your class, trying to find out. Um, what your class is because high schools can get a little big and some high school hallways look exactly the same i could say it's okay if you're late the first week of school because they understand that you're freshmen and they understand that you have you're at a new school your new environment they understand that so they they have this policy i think that lates don't start into like the third week of school i feel like or like they will tell you guys so don't be too stressed about that take your time don't be afraid to ask teachers where, where do i need to go um yeah <laughs> don't be afraid like get where you need to go figure out your class lock it in you don't gotta rush but make sure you get there on time when you walk in there class and walk in there with a smile head up very confident what should i be prepared for <laughs> One thing I can say be prepared for is your teachers. You have eight or seven different teachers with different personalities, with different rules, different ways they run their classrooms. So have an open mind to each of your teachers. Get to know them like they're getting to know you. Get to know their name, call them by their name, don't call them miss. Get to know them, have that respect for them because you just have to, I could say, if you have an irritating teacher, you have a teacher you don't like, I wouldn't, I would say give them a chance, like give, give it a chance, respect them. If you don't act out, they won't really do, they won't, you won't really have a problem with them. Like high school teachers are chill, they're more open with you because like you're older um, and you can have a very, very good bond with your high school teachers um, over the years and they can help you with a lot like your resume. So make sure you make a good bond with your teachers. Um, also, I would be, I would say be prepared for friend separation because when you get to high school, friends, okay, let's say y'all weren't really close, but y'all still talked a lot. Y'all were cool. Y'all were friends. Y'all like, y'all was, y'all was buddies. And then when you got to high school, y'all didn't really talk like that because you don't really see them like that. Like I had a bunch of friends from middle school or people I talked to all the time in middle school that I didn't see most of the time anymore. And when I saw them, I was like, oh, hey. And they was like, hey. So some people you just don't run into anymore or you just don't have time or even find time to talk to. So that's okay. Don't don't take it in the way. Just understand. Y'all have different classes. Y'all have a different mindset probably now. Y'all two different people. So just still try to that mindset of what's going on. How to manage electives. I would say pick an elective that you want to be in, that interests you. I feel like give it a try. Even if you don't like an elective that you, that you are in, give it a try because you never know if you like it or not. You may learn something new. For instance, I got in band my sixth grade year and 
I didn't know. I didn't want to be in band. I just picked it because my friends got it. And I promise you, I learned something that I will have with me for the rest of my life. I can use anytime. And I have a, a genuine a genuine love for that instrument. I played the flute, by the way. So this is for middle schoolers and high schoolers. Try stuff that you never try and have an open mindset to it. I could say if you really have an interest like you like art or you like digital design or you like um, the mechanics, the car stuff, anything you want to do, I would say try to get that elective and rock it out. Elective supposed to be fun in a, in a class that you're interested in. So I feel like um, if you don't like the elective, try to get that class changed also you're a freshman so you can't really get every class you want because we have to give the seniors the juniors and the sophomores really the seniors and the juniors a chance to pick their classes first because they're seniors and juniors like they're the upperclassmen so they get more of the benefits really um be prepared in your mindset have that mindset that you are a freshman um you do come last in some cases so just have that mindset if you can't get the class that you would like. What should I focus on the most? For freshmen, what you should focus on the most is your grades. You should focus on turning your work in on time. You should focus on the future, not the present. This is the present. So in the present right now, you're having fun you're a freshman but think about the future think about oh i want to cross that cake i want to walk across that stage i want to get my diploma i want to be successful so think about the future work focus on your future your success and what you want right now because some people say that freshman year is just a flyby it's just you don't have to really focus no freshman year sets you up for your senior year if your grades are horrible and you fail classes your freshman year, your senior year, you will have to struggle. Your sophomore year, you have to make up classes that will put you in summer school. You will not be having a hot girl summer. You'll be out here in summer school right in that library. Um, <laughs> but yeah, focus on your classes, turning your work on time. Just please, y'all. You want to start your GPA early because it's hard to bring that back up, bring your GPA back up as you get into higher grades. Because you want to, you want to, um, in high school with a little high GPA, walk across that stage with honors on. Like, why don't you want the best for yourself? Think about the future. We're in the present. Think in the future when it comes to academics. Okay, this is a more serious topic, so I'm gonna like lock in. So don't go around thinking it's cool to gossip because gossip will come back to bite you in the butt. The person you're talking to may be cool with that person, maybe know another person, somebody probably listening, and it will come back to bite you in the butt. Stuff spreads so quick around school. And that comes with hanging with the right people as well. We're gonna get on that topic in a few minutes. But don't spread gossip don't think it's cool to talk about nobody because of how they look don't be rude to somebody just because of how they look accept everybody and be kind because people don't like mean girls the people you hang around might like that might like, might like that you a mean girl but people don't like mean girls like i don't like mean girls me personally i can be mean sometimes but i have a reason if i have a reason to be mean <laughs> but i don't like i don't be mean for no reason i don't be mean because somebody look a certain way or i don't be mean just to be mean like don't go around gossiping it's not cute at all like it's just not cute um it makes your confidence look lower it makes your self-esteem looks down like it's not a cute thing and People with that good mindset like me, I don't think it's funny. And I don't find it funny. How about these? And then like at the top ones, her purse is going there. Put it on Pinterest. And then she got this little, that's for her underwear and stuff. All right, but five, four, four, five. Look at this shit, King. Four, three, two. Want to get to one? Brooke, want to see you. Want to get to one? You better get out of here. You don't tell me to get out of there. Out of here. I'm trying to make a YouTube video. Hey. Leave her alone. 
She better go. On. I'm making these a video, please. You clean that room up. I went through the drawers and all kids. I'm putting this in a video too. Put it in the video. Put your gum in the video. <laughs> Bro, get a video. This is on YouTube. <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> Another thing with drama, I could say it's it's not worth getting. What is going on on my TV? Oh. Another thing with drama, I could say is it's not worth getting in trouble for. Like you getting in fights, you getting in drama in high school. It's like not worth messing up your GPA. I mean, messing up your sorry, not GPA, messing up your record because like later on in life five years ten years from now y'all gonna forget all about y'all probably gonna forget it but it's not even gonna matter like you're probably gonna make up y'all probably just it, it's not gonna matter so it's no point of messing up your record with a little fight that y'all probably could have talked about like adults okay i can always say just think before you do everything like don't go don't do something off of angry thoughts like it's not going to get you nowhere like please don't make sure you think it through make sure you think is this worth it is it worth me losing what i got going on is this worth being on my record think about it like you don't have to prove a point to anybody with drama just just have confidence in yourself and know that you're that girl or you that boy and you what you don't receive them so you don't there's no point of arguing with them if you have your grade straight you pretty even if you think you're not have that confidence and say i don't gotta argue with you you ain't nothing i'm that girl my grades good i play sports or i'm not in the sport or i'm talented with something i have a good mindset and i'm very kind and smart and keep it moving drama is not drama is for the weak girl it's for the week. <laughs> Walk away from it. If somebody's trying to start drama with you, it's because they have a problem with their self, their self-esteem. You're beautiful. Keep it up, girl. Clock that tea. Catch you. Ah! My ponytail was like smushed in. So as I've been mentioning a lot in this video, the mindset, my mature mindset, uh, my positive mindset. So we're not in middle school no more, right? We're in high school. So we come into high school, we have to have a little bit of a better mindset. We can't be playing in the hallways. You have to get to class. It's time to really log in and grow up. That's why seniors don't like freshmen. Juniors don't like freshmen. Sophomores are more attracted to the freshmen. We cool, whatever, you know, because we understand. But, you know, the maturity level, even if you're not mature yet at um, at home, get in school and just have a, be versatile. So, when, like, let's say I'm at this place. I'm at home. I'm always lit. I'm always chilling. When I get to school. I'm very, like, this is my job. I'm here to work. And I'm very, like, you know, but yeah, there's times where I play, you know, with my friends, you know, because we're, we're all kids. But have that mature mindset have that mindset like i'm not here to play i'm not here to play i'm here to graduate i'm here to get good grades i'm here so i don't have to stress at home like i'm on my bad grades i'm here to just be the best person i can be have that good mindset and if your mom tell you about this she's a good mama clock that tea to so piggyback on keeping a positive mindset keep a strong mindset don't let nobody peer pressure you. Don't do nothing you don't want to do. Don't let nobody tell you, oh, go slap her. And you go slap her. Don't do that. Why are you doing that? What is the reason? Uh, there's no reason for you to have to do that. For what, cool points? That's gonna, not going to be worth it? So while you're going to slap this person because your friend told you to slap this person... They still in school having a time and laughing, enjoying themselves, and you suspended. Keep a strong mindset. When you say no, say no. If somebody doing something, that don't mean you gotta do it. It makes you look better. You fit you trying to fit in on people makes you look horrible. Remember that. Okay, so this is the topic that I've been trying to speak on, but you know I had to save it for this. So we're gonna speak on friendships and friend groups okay so advice i can give on friendships and 
um, friend groups is to not just have this one group of friends that you just be around and not trying to meet new people or talk to new people. I could say it's okay to not want to talk to people or meet people, but I say it's highly advised for you to meet people and get to know people because you never know what if they're your doctor one day in the future. What if they're your boss? What if they, you know, fly your airplane one day? Like you never know where you can meet these people in the future. So I could say, try to get to know everybody. You can have those two two homegirls you hang with all the time, but I say a group, big group people that you just like, you know, you never know like how, what one person think. Like, let's say you got a big group of people freshman year. As you get on to like other grades, that friend group is gonna get less and less and less. And you're probably gonna end up with like three, four, two of them in that group still. I could say get to know everybody because if you want to like run for homecoming court or any of that stuff, that will help you a lot. Like me personally, I have a group of people that I talk to, I hang around the most, but I can also talk to every single one in that school. Somebody knows that they need me, they can talk to me. I'm always a person that can be somebody's friend if they don't have a friend. I also know how to spot friends that aren't good friends. And I know how to stay away from those friends. So make sure you're keeping your eyes open and you're not letting nobody play in your face. Don't tell your friends too much in school because you never know if you guys fall out, if you guys have a disagreement, you never know what these people may do with your business. And like I said before, business spreads a lot in school so just stay aware of your friends get to know new friends um i could say high school you have people outside of your race you have we have white people we have black people, we have asian people we have hispanic people we have puerto ricans we have all type of people haitians we have all the people within our school so get to know every single one of those people all everybody in your school because you can meet a lot of different people and that's a very good thing that i like about high school let's hop on this topic of dating relationships it's okay i could say your freshman year get to know the boys like get to know them be cool with them be their friend be their homeboy i mean their homegirl and as time gets as time goes on like actually you're gonna actually know that person and you're gonna see who you like and i would say don't be so quick to hop into relationships like don't be so quick to say over dating like get to know these people like literally freshman year just get to know every boy get to know everything just get to know them be cool with them be their home and be their home girl and then in sophomore year maybe try to like you know lock in with somebody or if you want to i can say that's just advice that my mom gave me when i was a freshman she said get to know every single everybody for their self their personality um i could also say when you're talking to somebody keep it on low kind of because stuff spreads around school you never know who might like that person and you know it's just drama it comes with a lot of drama in within school relationships really do because people try to like try to be matchmaker for y'all or try to be inside of your relationship and just keep it on low. Just, I could say keep it on low. But people are going to try to figure it out. And they're probably going to figure it out. But just still, just don't tell everybody your business with your relationship. I could also say, um, don't let relationships get into what's actually important. Which is like I said before, your grades, your mindset, your strive, your confidence. Because at the end of the day, you need to have that one thing in your head think about the future not the present <laughs> i could also say seniors juniors sophomores everybody don't have to talk to you even though you're a freshman you will have upperclassmen try to talk to you be cool with them too don't be so quick to like play hard to get don't be so quick to just go for it like no please don't just get to know them like be don't be like um, i don't know but we can be cool like you know dap them up you know don't be so quick to just talk don't talk to every single body um yeah that's really it with that just stay open stay cool and then as you get older you can get into the lock-in stage but if you meet somebody that's that person then go ahead baby if your parents say yes then your parents say yes Okay, y'all, we got two more topics. They're going to be really short because um, this one is about sports. So, people may ask, 
should I join a sport? Should I try out? Or I don't know if I'm good enough. Girl, back to confidence. Have some confidence and try out for that sport. Even though you don't make, even if you don't make it, the coach knows that you've been trying. Uh, the next year, you may make the team. Keep working. But try out for everything. And even if it don't turn out good, at least you try. And that's the best thing about it. Sports can give you a lot of benefits um, in school. It can be on your resume in college. And it can also get you scholarships for college. You can get NIL deals now in high school, I believe. So I feel like you should go for those sports. And even if you don't know, learn. Cheer, football, lacrosse, soccer. They have golf. They have um, even a hockey team. They have swim, di swim and dive, dance, band. is a sport too in my, in my eyes. So all of those things you can do. Um, and it's all electives, mechanics, art, all type of stuff. All type of stuff that you can do to that you love. Like do what you love so you can have a fun high school career. You want your high school to be as fun as possible, as memorable as possible, so you can leave there not having no regrets in the future. Like, I should have played football. Man, why didn't do that? I should have cheered. That would have been fun. Like, do it now. Anything you put your mind to, do it. Go by, write this down. I am not a statistic. I will achieve only great things. I am just as good as anybody else. You can do anything you set your mind to. And put, I can do anything I set my mind to. That's the thing I go by all the time. I always say I can do anything I set my mind to. Very confidently. I go by confidence, strive, and drive. All the time. Stay confident. Okay, so the next topic I'm going to go on is how to maintain your sports in your school. I could say we want to put school first, of course. So we need to focus in school. Turn your work on time. Be up to task. Do not be late on anything. So if you have extra curriculums, or if you have um, sports afterwards, you won't have to worry about that. You don't, have, you don't have to have that in your mind. Like, dang, I got to go home and do homework. Dang, I got to go home and catch up. Just have just have everything caught up and done. Also, time management. If you know you got to do something when you get home, have it planned out. Have your time. Have your calendar. Do your calendar on your phone. Um, I can also say get an Avid. It's a class that helps you with college and career readiness. So it can help with your resumes. It can help you with anything you need for college. It can help you with mindset. It can, what I'm telling you guys, I kind of, I won't say I got it from Avid because my mom is like, you know, kind of Avid herself. But it helped me like see that. It helped me want to do this right here. So. Yeah, guys, like I was saying in the last clip, um, this concludes this video. I hope you guys watched all the way to the end. If you watched to the end, just please put thank you in the comments. And you can ask more questions if you need them. And if you want to make another video on anything else, you have to ask, put it, if you have to, sorry, anything else you have to know or you want to know, put it down below in the comments and I will respond like this if i don't i will respond at some time um i will be doing uh back to school videos i will be doing a maintenance video to get prepared with my nails toes lashes hair all that that will be done so stay tuned for that i'm very excited for this school year i'll also be doing cheer vlogs i have a game the first week of school um so yeah just stay tuned guys and i hope you guys have a great freshman year i hope you guys will take this advice Anytime in the school year, you can text my Instagram right here and I will be there to talk to you and I'll be there to help you with anything you need. I hope you guys um, really like this video.